How to be limitless in the new year. Hello, my friend, Jim Quick here. And today I am so excited to talk to you about how you can be limitless in the new year. The key to unlocking your fullest potential lies within, of course, your own mind. To help you remember the steps to becoming limitless, I've, of course, created an acronym called Limitless. The L stands for Learn Continuously. The first step to becoming limitless in the new year is to adopt a mindset of continuous, constant learning. The world is always evolving and so should your knowledge, skills, and abilities. So commit to learning something new every single day to really win this year, whether it's a new language, a new hobby, maybe a set of new professional skills. Everybody has a to-do list. I recommend you have a to-learn list. So what is on your to-learn list? If you want your business to grow, your brand to grow, your bank account to grow. Of course, your brain needs to grow because you never want to go to sleep being the same person you were when you woke up. And so last but your superpower, if knowledge is power, learning is your superpower. The I in Limitless is being intentional intentional. You're being more mindful. Mindfulness is a very powerful tool. It helps you stay present and stay focused. It helps you to reduce stress and it improves overall mental clarity. So if you practice being intentional and more mindful, you could do it through many different ways. You could do it through meditation, through deep breathing. You could do simple exercises to become more fully engaged in whatever you are doing. Your intention matters. So even going back to your purpose, when we talk about motivation, having limitless motivation, it's so important to have an intention behind all of your actions where you don't have to be so obsessed with every little thing, but why are you doing that? And that takes us to the M in limitless motivation. You want to be able to master your motivation. And remember the key here is understanding what motivates you. Is it your own personal growth? Is it helping others? Is it financial success or maybe something else? Because the key, remember the formula is P times E times S3. That's the formula for limitless motivation really to win and be unstoppable this year. P times E times S3. The P is purpose and we talked about having an intention behind things. The E remember is energy because eating the best brain foods and optimizing your sleep all that's important to give you energy and then also small simple steps. That's what S3 stands for. How do you break things down into small simple steps? So use this understanding to fuel your journey towards becoming limitless. The second I in limitless stands for implementation. Remember, knowledge is not power. It has the potential to be power. It certainly becomes more power when you apply it, when you implement it. So we want to spend less time ideating and coming up with ideas. Certainly it's great to have ideas, but what's more important is that you act on those ideas. And so I ask myself, every single day and you could do this if you haven't started this for this year when you're learning something how can i use this why must i use this when will i use this one of the best things you could do is to be able to schedule your implementation i believe for every hour you spend listening to a podcast or a training maybe one of our courses we have an upcoming conference our brain power conference uh, to become more limitless in person and i would love to be able to see you but a big part of it though is for every hour you spend learning, spend an equal hour implementing, putting that into action, because the truth is it's better well done than well said. And speaking of scheduling, the T in Limitless stands for time management. Time management. You know, that's the one thing that's equal, right? Not everybody has equal income. Not everybody has equal connections. Not everyone has equal education. But every single person, we all have the same amount of time in a day, 24 hours. So how are you managing your time? Time is your most valuable resource. Learn to manage it effectively. Prioritize your tasks. So it's not just time management, it's priority management. Remember this. The most important thing is to keep the most important thing the most important thing. What also falls into time management? Eliminating distractions. 
So if you're not losing time focusing on things that don't matter, set very specific goals each day. Remember, being busy is not the same as being effective or productive. And remember this, one of your most effective time management productivity tools you have is your calendar. If you don't schedule it, it's not gonna happen. You could schedule meetings and work meetings and Zooms and doctor's appointments, PTA meetings, but are you scheduling your implementation? So very important. Your calendar is your number one productivity tool that you have. But if you're not scheduling how you're going to apply what you're going to learn this year, you don't want to go through and just have new ideas and not act on it because your world won't change. So don't say it, show it. Don't promise it to others, prove it. And your actions speak louder than your words. Are you a high achiever constantly seeking that next level of success? Welcome to the quick success program. It's a deep dive and support system to master your life and scale to new heights in personal and professional achievement. Included is our exclusive monthly book club, where we process transformative ideas from amazing books to level up your learning and your life. We also bring the author to the club to answer your burning questions. You can also participate in monthly live coaching calls with me where your questions meet my decades of expertise. Simply go to quicksuccess.com, that's K-W-I-K success.com and choose the plan that works best for you. The second L in limitless stands for limiting beliefs. We want to overhaul our limiting beliefs. So now is a wonderful time to identify any limiting beliefs that are holding you back and to work on overcoming them. You could do this as simple as replacing them with empowering beliefs that support your growth, that support your success. We talk a lot about this in Limitless Expanded, different techniques to be able to rewire your mind. Even being conscious, where does it start? Being conscious of your self-talk. Remember, if you think you can or think you can't, either way, you're right. Henry Ford said that. Your brain is this incredible supercomputer. And if you want to win more and become limitless in the new year, then what you want to do is remember your thoughts are the program it will run. So if you tell yourself, I'm not good at something, you won't be good at it because that's the program it's going to run. So even if you find yourself throughout the year saying something quote unquote negative, like I don't have a great memory, then you can just add a little word at the end like yet. I don't have a great memory yet. And then it opens up possibility. If you truly understood how powerful your mind is, you wouldn't say or think something you didn't want to be true. And that's not to say you have one negative thought and it ruins your life any more than eating that one donut will ruin your life. But if you ate that donut 20 times a day, every single day, there'll be a consequence. right? Same thing with our, our thoughts and our limiting beliefs. In Limitless Expanded, we talk about the seven lies to learning in life and lie remember stands for a limited idea entertained if you want more information on how to reframe and rewire your limiting beliefs uh, check out our book limitless expanded the e in limitless stands for emotional intelligence emotional intelligence and that's your eq and then there's different ways that we talk about in our programs and our courses on how to enhance your eq uh, it's it's as important as your iq understand and managing your emotions learn to empathize with others this will improve your relationships this year and help you navigate complex social situations and there are a number of things when we're talking about emotional quotient and your EQ, part of it is having self-regulation. Remember, you are a thermostat, you're not a thermometer. So while you have a to-do list, I also recommend you also have a what? A, a to-feel list. What's on your to-feel list? What are three emotions you want to cultivate? It's kind of like flexing those emotions, if you will. So build a to-feel list this year and like what three emotions you want to cultivate every single day. And you could change it over time, certainly. Maybe you want to cultivate a sense of curiosity and maybe you want to cultivate a sense of more compassion or maybe you want to cultivate confidence. If confidence is something also that you're interested in, check out quickconfidence.com, K-W-I-K confidence.com. All right, we're almost done. The S in limitless stands for self-awareness, self-awareness. 
If you ever saw in the movie The Matrix, where Neo goes to see the Oracle for the first time and they're in her kitchen, I don't know if you caught it, but on top of the door, there's a sign. And what does it say? Know thyself. Self-awareness is a superpower. And how can you spend more of this year understanding yourself? I truly believe success is having the curiosity to know yourself. And then the other half of success, having the courage to be yourself. And one of the ways you could build self-awareness is understanding your brain animal. If you go to mybrainanimal.com, let us know what your brain animal is. This is your cognitive type. And I built this assessment. You could take it for free. It only takes four minutes. There's nothing to buy. But once you understand your cognitive type, there are four different brain animals. Maybe you are an action-oriented cheetah, or you're a logical owl, or you're a creative dolphin, or you're an empathetic elephant. That determines how you communicate. It also determines what's dominant when you learn something. It could help you parent better. It could help you hire and train, uh, have relationships better when you understand. It's kind of like your love languages, but your brain animal. And sometimes we don't learn really well. And if you want to learn better this year, this will help you so much because maybe your brain type is different than a teacher's brain type. And it's like two ships passing in the night and you miss each other and you don't even recognize the other one is there because there's no connection, if that makes sense. So go to mybrainanimal.com and then you're gonna get a detailed report, just like there's personalized medicine based on an assessment like your, your DNA, your genetics, and there's personalized uh, nutrition based on your microbiome, your gut biome, maybe a nutrient profile. Well, there's this is our way of creating personalized learning and leadership based on your brain animal type. And what I challenge you to do after you take this four minute assessment, this quiz, is you'll get artwork, online artwork that you could post online and you could tell us what your brain animal is and make sure you tag me at Jim Quick, K-W-I-K, and I'll repost some of our favorites and we'll gift a couple of copies randomly of our new book. So understanding your brain animal could help you optimize your mental health. Once you take the quiz, how to read faster based on your brain animal, on which animal you are, and how to remember names and so much more. So to help your mental health, your focus, your flow, your productivity. The S, the final S in limitless is self-care. Remember this, self-care is not selfish. And if you really want to win and become limitless in this year, you have to take care of your body. Imagine when you turned uh, driving age, you were given a car for free. And yet this is the only car you could have the rest of your life. How well would you maintain that car? You would take care of it. Of course you would, because that's the one vehicle you have. Well, your body and your brain as part of your body is the one vehicle you have going through this life. So part of being limitless in this new year is harnessing the, the power of your mind and your brain health. And that's why we talk in our podcast so much about what are the best brain foods? What are the best physical exercises? for your brain. What are the nootropics? And that's something I'm very excited about. If you go to brainnutrition.com, you could see a list of my favorite nootropics and brain supplements to help your mood, to help you have mental energy, to help with your focus, your memory, and so much more. Also, as part of your self-care is your sleep. We've done a dozen episodes on how to optimize your sleep because when you don't sleep, you're not going to do really well in the new year. And so you want to make sure you dial that in. So go listen to those podcast episodes. Really enjoy that. We've done episodes on how to manage your stress and that's part of your, your self-care also as well. My point in doing this podcast is to teach you something or remind you of something you already know. The power of your mind, understanding yourself better and consistently working towards your goals is so very important but you want to be intentional about it because there's a version of yourself that's patiently waiting. And the goal is we show up every single day for ourselves until we're introduced. And you're going to do this this year. I just know it. So remember, your only limit is the one you set for yourself. And so many people out of fear, they'll shrink what's possible to fit their minds when my suggestion is the opposite. How do you expand your mind to fit all that is possible? So go out there, use these principles and absolutely be limitless. So there you have it. I want you to take a moment right now and quiz yourself. This is a technique that you could use called active retrieval and see how many of the letters you remember. Do you remember what the first L is? 
the I, the M, the I, the T, the L, the E, the double S's and test yourself. And then maybe you want to re-listen to this or go to the show notes at jimquick.com forward slash notes. This is a limitless approach to unlocking your fullest potential in 2024. Embrace these principles and, and watch them transform your life into one without limits. This is your brain coach, Jim Quick. Thank you for tuning into this episode. If you could do one thing for us to help more people is to share this episode and leave a review, whether it's on iTunes, wherever you happen to be consuming this on YouTube, maybe leave a comment and share it. This is part of our mission. We keep this sponsor free and to 20 minutes just to be able to serve you because I know your time is your most valuable asset as we talked about in this episode. And I believe in you. You're gonna do so well in this new year. Thank you again for listening or if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe because we have a lot more content that's usable, pragmatic, proven, and absolutely practical and fun to do. So enjoy your day today. Thank you again for watching and listening. And until then, uh, we'll talk to you soon and be limitless.